So I'm going to show you a workaround to a common problem I run into with uh, making objects bigger in Keynote. Now, all of the images you see here are the same image here. It's a uh, 1024 pixel PNG of this prism logo. So this image here is actually the same image, but it's been scaled down in the uh, Keynote just to make it smaller. Now, if, when I play this here, you can see both those images there. And then as I hit the space bar, it's going to scale the second image up to the same size. Now, if you look at this here, you can see that the second image is pixelated. It doesn't have the same detail as the first image. And that's because it's, it's a, I think, a bug in Keynote that it uh, doesn't use the unpixelated version. So basically, when you start with an image that's been scaled down, it only enlarges it when you apply a scale operation, even though the image is actually the same image. So it should actually sh appear the same. So that is bad. You'd, I don't like that, especially if you have text in there. It just looks terrible. So a workaround that I came up with is here. And what we do is when we uh, scale this image up, we're going to take the image here, the scaled up version of the image, and I'm going to hit Control C and then paste it in on top of itself. And so now the scaled up image, just put this in the same spot. So there we go. Now the, the the full resolution version is in the same spot as the scaled up image. And then we put a build in on it to uh, dissolve in. And then go to this one and say, go to the end of it and say build out. We're going to dissolve that out. And we're going to do that at the same time. And we get rid of it and click on this. So have it happen automatically after. And then you want to make sure that the the new one's on top of that. So now if I play this, we'll see it scales up now. If you could, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it because of the video compression, but as it scales up, it'll actually become more and more pixelated. And at the very end, it'll get replaced by the the good one. So see, you got replaced by the good one. So actually, we take that out. I'll put the uh, on and click back in there. Okay. And so now it's going to scale up. And see, we have the pixelated version. We just don't have the I'm pointing to the screen, you can't see that, but you don't have the, the fine detail in the lines there. And then when I hit the space bar here, it's going to replace it with the dissolve effect with the good one. See that? And so now we have the greater detail in the, in the lines there. So take the, the click off and do automatically after. And this should be automatically with. So we want the dissolve out and the dissolve in to take place at the same time. So now I'll run this, and hit the space bar, and now yeah, see that's one thing that's got a kind of tricky. So instead, let's make this. Let's make it after. Yeah, let's leave that after. So um, the issue that happens is if is as they're one's fading out, the other one's fading in. There's a little spot fit point there where it's, it's faded. So I guess this is probably the best way is to do this one fading out and this one fading in and since this one's on top of it it completely overlays that now occasionally you're gonna get some weird um, things like in these lines here where you can see the old one because of the pixelation actually causes it to be a little bigger looking which is kind of annoying and yeah so this is not an ideal solution this is what I have been doing up until today so let me show you I found an even better solution so I'm gonna just play this one here and you can see what happens so here it is, it gets bigger. And see that it stayed high resolution the whole way up. We never lost any of the granularity there. And so how I did that is there's actually another image on here you can't see. Right here is a full resolution version of that image. Okay, and what I've done is I've taken that image and I've set the opacity on it to zero. So see, there's the image there, and I set the opacity to zero. Okay, and then actually leave the opacity up all the way so you can see this. And so then I have the small, the scaled down version here. And so I take this high resolution image and I move it over there and scale it down so it's the same as this image. And then I set the opacity to full here, so it goes to 100% opacity. 
which makes it appear over the top of that one. And then I have this one disappear, so it's gone away. And then at that point, then I apply the scale on this image, the one that I scaled down, and move to here. Okay, so two things happen here. So you notice there's a click on this, uh, turn the opacity on. So when I run this, oops, I'm gonna turn this uh, image back to zero. Oops. Make sure I'm selecting the image, not one of the transitions. Okay. Zero. Okay. So now, when I run this, if you look at this little image up here in the corner, when I hit the space bar, because I actually left that on click in there, it's going to replace that with the high resolution that's been scaled down at presentation time. And if you notice, it gets a little bit sharper, which is cool because I didn't realize that wasn't as sharp as it could be already. And so now I hit space bar again, and it grows to be big. So there you go. That was really cool way to actually get the scale up to not produce a pixelated image. Um, so in production, you would actually take this this click off, and so it would be automatically after. Okay, and so what that's going to do is so. The, let me explain the points of this. This small scaled down image is the one that's going to appear immediately when the slide comes in, okay? And then this image gets uh, moved and scaled down, and you notice the duration of this is 0 0.01 seconds. That's the minimum duration on these operations. So 0 0.01 seconds after the uh, slide appears, it's going to move and scale down this image there to there. And so it has to do those can do those simultaneously, and then this has to occur after that. So after the image is moved into place, then the opacity goes back to 100%, so it appears on top of it. And so 0 0.02 seconds after the slide transition takes place, this image will appear there. And then we get rid of that image after we get rid of that. Afterwards, we can do a disappear on the first image, so it's gone. And then we can use that image to do the scale effects on. So that gives you the ability to have it scale full to a larger size without getting pixelated. Plus, the added benefit of this is if you take a small image and do a, um, let's, I can click off of it because I had the uh, stage selected, and say add action, and we'll do a scale. The most you can scale it up is 200%. So that's as big as you can get it there, okay? So that really limits what you can do. But if with this system, the image here that's been scaled up is, um, if you notice now, it's at 100%. So it's scaled back to 100% of its original size. And so you could actually scale this up beyond 100% if you wanted to, to get really big. Of course, and at that point, then you have a, a pixelated image. So um, of course, if your image was actually that big, you could have started do this in the same process I showed you and started at that size. And so essentially that means you can scale up to an image as big as you wanted to. So if you had a really tight, if you want to have this image up in the corner be start out really tiny and then scale up to um, fill the whole screen, you could do that and you would not have any loss of resolution at all. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that and hope you found this useful for uh, your keynote presentations.